Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome to 1.3.1 in the Mon Minecraft Online server, as I say, like Minecraft. <laughs> Still got the stuff from Battle. I don't know if I ever showed that, but there you go. And the bugs begin already. I've already been here for quite a while, so you can see I already got several amazing things. That's my new sword because my other one ran out. Actually, I'll go and show you some of my picks, which I have in my inner chest, for simplicity's sake. Amazing. Very good working pick. Amazing silt touch. Or it could be better with efficiency, but still. Really good sword. That's good for creepers. Actually, I may switch those out. And as for all this dirt, you know what? Well, I do need a few of it. Alright, I'll leave all that. And deposit the rest in here. So, I went ahead and started placing around some cocoa beans on this wall. On some logs, which look amazing sideways that I found out. It's really awesome. But I just, I realized these things grow so fast. And it honestly makes me kind of wish that this update did not happen. Like, the, the cocoa beans weren't as easy to get. Because now if you look, I have so many cocoa beans it's not even funny they're way too easy to get now because before this update I had two cocoa beans now we have about with the ones on the wall about 120 so that's not fair at all yeah signs are blanked out that happens I do believe when you log in from it like you log in and the chunk loads and then you move to a chunk that was not loaded when you logged in that has signs. It's like when I logged in, I was not here. Or this chunk was loaded after I logged in and it was just loaded. So like if I logged right now, these things would be fixed. But I don't feel like doing that. Another thing, sign stack, bucket stack, which I could show you, but I don't have any buckets. I got ice. It's amazing. And I started stocking up on lava as well. Um, I want to do some enchanting. I'm at level 29, but I don't know how else I can get to 30 real quick. Because in here, this is what I had before. I had these things packed full with stone so I could pull it out for 1.3 and get experience from it. Turns out, they nerfed it so much that you get like 7 levels if you do like 10 stacks of stone, which is ridiculous. Coal. Oh, emeralds. It's amazing. I went. I did some exploring before this. I went like 7,000 blocks away from spawn. And I found an extreme hills biome and got a bunch of emeralds, which was nice. Also, as I was passing through some villages, I'd harvest all the wheat and then trade them the wheat. So here's all of my tools now. Amazing axe, although the fortune doesn't do anything. A shovel? Nah. Just I've already blown through one of those already because I was digging out that dirt that you saw. Um, that's my old sword. Another silk touch pick. Fortune 3 axe, which I'm never going to use. Efficiency 3, which we may end up using. Unbreaking 3. All those are the old ones. And another one of those. So we're basically stocked on picks for now. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bring that one. And something I want to do is show you the new site of my building site. The new area of my building site. There we go. Because, as I mentioned in last Minecraft Online episode, I was going to be building on top of that mountain. Change of plans. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and hop into my creative world where I started building a replica of the building that I'm copying. Which, this time we will have a, down or a link in the description to that. I got kind of lazy with last episode, so you'll see that in the description. But I'll go ahead and show you my kind of replica slash redesign mint of it. So, I'll see you in just a second. Alright, here we are in creative in 1.3 as well. Had to transfer in this world into 1.3 because before I was building this in 1.2.5. Also have to turn that off and get rid of those slimes. And it's looking pretty nice. I think I, I think I like it a lot. And the problem is from the picture that I had, it only showed this. Like this was basically the angle of the picture right there. And that's all I had to work with. That was the only picture. The other picture was like a dark night. 
so you couldn't see anything in the back. So the whole back is basically mine. I basically redesigned it. This is like my pride and joy of this area. Not sure what to do with this wall. It's still kind of bland for now. But I really love this kind of thing right here. It's kind of an open staircase to walk in and go do whatever. Very nice. A nice kind of... <clears throat> sorry. I hate doing that on camera, but kind of had to for talking. So a nice, pretty bland, but pretty organized intro. Or side of the house. Nice, like, brick balcony over here. We're going to be adding something here, probably like a, uh, I don't know. We'll add something, but I'm not sure what. I haven't done any interior decoration, so keep that in mind. So that's that. I think this wall is okay being bland. Something that I do have in mind for it that I've been doing around here. Dang, I'm not used to this. Everything's weird. Is putting signs across the bottom. If you notice, I did that on the front. It looks really nice if you do it like across lengths of something like this. So then you look at it. And it looks pretty decent. You can see we did that over there as well. So this is kind of the back entrance. I didn't really know what to do for this, so I kind of just winged it. Wait a second. Oh man, I just realized something. This building, or this roof is not centered. Like, these stairs end up one block over the edge. These stairs end up two blocks, or one block under. Dang, that, it's because that's not centered with that. We may have to move that over then. Looks like probably in the future. Dang, that makes me mad. Definitely have to fix that for the future. This thing, I really like. It kind of looks like a dojo thing almost. Gives a nice overview of the balcony right here. Gives you a nice view of everywhere. And the area that I'm thinking of doing this in 1.3 is kind of... It'll be over a beach, or over the ocean, so you'll see over the ocean, which will be really cool. And over here, we got the nice garden as well. This garden kind of wraps around the entire building and travels over to here, which I really like. One thing I do like is this kind of like wool and half slab on top of it. I What I'm thinking about doing is doing that all the way around, like kind of like a far outside, like over here. And so this would basically wrap around the entire building. And, uh... So I'm <laughs> trying to do it on camera, but it's not working. So like something like that, basically. And then half slabs on top of it. And that is actually a really simple design, and it'll work. So I'm thinking about leaving that like that. So, like, imagine if we had that all the way around, and we had, like, gardens out here and stuff, and flowers and trees and little ponds and stuff. I think it'll look nice. And I'm not really, like, just in love with the texture of the white wool, but I think it does look really nice. It's the closest block that I can find that looks really good. I started out using sandstone and built, like, this part right here, the bottom half of that building, and it just looked awful. So, changed it to white wool. Actually, no, I did that wall and then part of this building right here. But one tricky part about doing this was this roof right here. I eventually just kind of did a simple pattern, but right here we kind of had to cram it because we had that corner as well. And this one, it took me a little bit to figure out, but I think I got it good. And something that's a good idea that if you have kind of like a circle, like a semicircle building like this, add buttons on it like that. It kind of gives it it gives it a nice effect, I think. I did that on all three of them. I think that looks really good. And I may end up doing it right here. I'm not really sure about that just yet. And I think these connected very well right here. I had some troubles trying to get that to flow. Because you're basically having to combine a roof and a wall. And that's not an easy task, so... Oh, wow. I'm used to uh I'm used to single player commands you can just do time day 
and it'll change it to day or time night. This one you have to do like time set zero or time set 15,000 for night. Oh, you gotta love what Minecraft does to us. Okay, so I think this corner right here, I don't think we need anything. I think if we added a window there, it might look a little busy. Well, actually, no, I think I like that better, actually. Yeah, that looks okay over that, too. Alright, I have a new idea as well. What if I take some dirt, or some grass, actually, and destroy some of this stuff? And do that. How would that look? Um, I think I like that better. I think it fit. I think it gives it more of a corner. And yes, I am Steve. I don't know why. For some reason, it won't load up my skin for some strange reason. But whatever. Anyway, that's gonna be the final look. One thing I found out is if you have a big wall like this, notice how these walls would just be flat. Just give it a break in the middle of it. Just a half slab, basically. I mean, even if this background here, I changed it to wood because I think it looks nicer. But I mean, even if it was wool, you can still see that a half slab like that still breaks up the wall. Very, very nice. And that thing actually, the little half slab, it travels all the way around the building. It does that the whole way around, actually, and I think it looks really nice. And these little cubby holes right here, I could not figure out what to do for them. It was just like a stuck idea of mine. I I eventually just gave up and did that, which I don't think looks too bad, because you hopefully won't spend too much time looking in those corners. I'm probably going to put something back there anyway, so you can't, but I needed something for it. And now that we have the basic design of this place... The last thing to do really is do some interior decoration, which is going to be a blast. Uh, the one bad thing about building this is trying to find something to put here. I mean, I have a lot of room, but it's kind of crazy. I guess that'll just continue like that. I think I'm going to leave this up here like leave it kind of open but I'm not really sure and I do want to have kind of an upstairs area so like I do want to have this floor like this so you can use those doors so they're not just decoration but I also want to have it kind of be more open be more open open of a building but then I also have to make a staircase which since there's windows on all sides it's kind of hard to do I may end up what I yeah what I may end up doing is right probably here somewhere actually see how this place doesn't have a door that's actually kind of on purpose what we could probably do is have a spiral staircase leading up into here and that be our way up and then we could have this kind of like a banister having a railing around it kind of like what I did over here and that connects but that, that aggravates me but there's not much I can do Come on. I just want out. Wait. Okay. So yeah, that's basically this building. I'm definitely going to have to do this all the way around. That looks nice. It's funny. I've gotten really good at making circles, so that actually looks perfect. Because it is. <laughs> no, but I've gotten good at making those now. I don't know how. I guess doing this stuff. and I've made a lot of circles in Minecraft. So I'm still not sure what to do about this. I was just going to keep the uh, the window going, like window or a 2x2 two two, and then a 2x2 two two of wool. Can I do this? Of course not. I don't even think I can turn rain off. There we go. Uh, if I did that, you'd have that. And it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not awful. But up close, it's pretty bad. Oh, there goes something. I think, yeah, the fence. Man, I hate this organization thing that they did. I mean, I guess it's nice, like, if you get the hang of it, but... Man, I just, I can't. 
I don't know. But it's funny, even in the rain, this thing looks nice. I couldn't think of anything to put up here. Maybe I'll do like a decoration with some with the half slabs and stuff. We'll just have to see. And it's funny, these roofs actually the roofs, roofs, however you pronounce it, they actually went together pretty well. Again, I'll just have to adjust this building right here to be centered. And I think yeah, it'll center up evenly. They're both even numbers. So we'll be good on that. Um what else should I show? This may continue. I didn't really know what to do here because uh, in the pictures, again, the picture was like from over here, so that's basically as far as you could see with that. It kind of just cut off there, and then the other picture that was shown was kind of like a. Uh, it was taken at the in night, so I don't know why they would take a picture at night trying to show off a building, but it was like this, and you looked over there and you couldn't see it, and I really didn't know what to do with that, so I just kind of just kind of ended it but I don't think it actually looks too bad ended right there that I gave it that little turn as well and that looks nice so I guess that'll stay just like that and that's basically it anyway I don't want to drag this on too much longer because I know it's probably been a little bit just wanted to go over the basic overview of this place and I spent forever on it but that that right there irritates me but I'm gonna fix that later because I've worked on this so much recently I don't feel like working on it anymore. So anyway, I'll see you back on the server. Okay, so surprisingly enough, uh, the location that I decided to pick is actually really close to another person on the server who their name is Kukuri. And they made this amazing work of art. I don't get how she found the time to do this because I personally don't see her on very much, but man, it's beautiful. We actually came by here because she said she needed bricks, and we just threw a bunch of clay around everywhere. I would have recorded it, but I don't know what stopped me. <laughs> I just kind of got lazy. Come on. Let's go. Bed. And sweet. Not trying to set my spawn, just trying to make it day. So one thing, one cool thing about the location that I'm building at is we may have an overview of this area, of this thing right here. It's going to look nice. I mean, I would build it right here, but that'd be way too close to her. Plus, I don't even really like it over here very much. Come on. I'm failing at typing. Whatever. Anyway, that's kind of the location right there. That's not really it, though. That's It's actually near that, but not that. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway, it's just right over here, so I'm going to stay recording. And I guess this is where she harvested her sand from, so I don't think she'll mind if I use that as well. But... Okay, so, yeah, it's right here. I keep getting distracted, sorry. So, I decided on several areas, but I think this is the one that's going to stay, because it seems overall the best. I guess a reason that I should say the reason, like, I guess, like, why I should say that I couldn't build on the other spot, like, on the mountain that Forge had, get, or had picked out for me, basically, was because that thing, from one side of the mountain surface to the other like as big as I could get it would be 40 by 40 blocks and the building just from one side to the other so basically the smallest for the building was 60 by 60 so it was nowhere near close enough to fit on that thing what did you log off I didn't even notice that so right there is where we're looking at building it it's like it's perfect it's exactly what I was looking for it overlook it, it'll kind of be facing this mountain so I don't know let's say you're like running down the mountain or something you'll see my home so it'll look really cool and oh you've got to be kidding me oh man I had another location picked out before I got here 
because uh, yeah, it was it was kind of the same idea of this. It was more in a plains area though, and it was kind of overlooking the water. And I tried to get home, and I ended up, I guess, like coming across this place. And before I made the final decision, I wanted I wanted to check out this area, and that's how I found that place. And I mean, look at that. That's like it's so strange over here. You got some strange terrain generations. But man, 1.3. I gotta. I'm gonna have to go on a little talk about 1.3 here, as we go back to get my stuff. Or my ender chest. Oh, I don't. I don't have a silk touch pick in the chest. That's what I love about ender chests. Anyway, looking at 1.3, I've been using it for the past two days now. I think. Yeah, it was out yesterday, and I used it a little bit. I probably stayed up a little bit too late, but well, it was fun. Um, yeah, that I used it yesterday and today are basically the two days I've used it. But I think that's enough time to kind of make a kind of an educated decision on whether or not I think it's a good update. So here's what I think about it. Here's what here's kind of my opinion on the whole thing. Looking at 1.3, like looking at the desire for it. It was a hugely desired update. Like, I was really looking forward to it. Mainly for SMP, because single player is basically screwed. Because mobs are so glitchy now. I don't... I mean, I understand why they did that. Because it makes it so much easier on them not having to create two different clients. But, at the same time, it makes it so much worse for the players. And here's another place that I could have probably built... But again, decided against it. This whole desert, I was thinking about building something in. But something that I really found that I absolutely hated was... Which I'll show you in just a second if you can see it. I think it's this one. Well, this one is, but this area right here would be great to build like a village or trading place. But I'm really concerned with like... With, uh, with surrounding biomes. And... All surrounding this one is that snow biome and a swamp biome. The swamp biome wraps around this side of it all the way around. You can see it right there. It's crazy, but anyway, back on the 1.3 topic. About 1.3 and what I think about it, I think the update's pretty good. But looking at what they had to do to get it... Okay, here's... I'm going to go on a little talk, because... I know in a few videos, like, I know B-double-O talked about how, you know, Minecraft, it's the update release, and it's kind of like a game going into beta. Well, we're kind of beta testing it. In my opinion, the beta testing was supposed to be the snapshots. Or at least that was, it, that should at least be considered the alpha testing. I mean, the pre-release should have been beta. Oh yeah, there's a village over there. I hope I'm close. I hope that's it over there. I think it is. But anyway, I looked back on it, and me and Shadow, and I think Lucas and Gunner probably all agree on this. If they don't, I'm sorry, but I know me and Shadow do. 1.3 is kind of... They used over five snapshot updates. Okay, making ha making people have to go and download another snapshot and be exposed to more bugs and more glitches every single time and then they released the pre-release which yeah, you can see this is where I started leveling but change of plans and people started uh, you know there were bugs everywhere in all of the, uh, the snapshots that's why I never did really use them I've I've learned my lesson from that I've seen all the glitches I've seen all the abuses that you can get out of them because they're so unstable. And, yeah, I just don't like them. But, over five pre-releases and a, uh, or over five snapshots and a pre-release, the pre-release was supposed to be kind of like, you know, the, uh, it was supposed to be kind of like a stable version, basically saying, hey, here's a pre-release, this will hopefully be what 1.3 is like, if there's no errors with the pre-release. And I don't think there was, but looking at 1.3 and 
just how almost sloppy it was made. I mean, no offense to Mojang or anybody, or Mojang. No offense to anybody, but looking at it, it was... I'm sorry, but it's just very, very sloppy. I mean, you know, first thing I notice whenever I log in, I'm at my home. I log in, bam, all my signs are wiped. That's first thing, and it's only a visual error. It's not like it's actually there. Okay, how did we get here? Over here, I do believe. No, I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> okay, so... Man, I'm losing my train of thought again. This happens every time I get distracted. It's like ADD for Minecraft. Dang. But, with all, like... Here's how I look at it. If you look at the 1.8 Adventure update they released... That update, I gotta admit, was a turning point for Minecraft. And it was one of the best updates I've ever seen for the game. And I think a lot of people would agree with me on that. That that update kind of... It introduced so many... Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. That is not good at all. Okay, I think I've learned my lesson with enderpearls now. Man. Oh, man. That got my heart pumping. Okay, so I'm going to try and attempt to find my home. Wait, where am I going? I should just use Kukuri's place. That's what I've been doing, but anyway. And after that, I will try to regain my thoughts and start back up on the 1.3 talk. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And hopefully I can find my items. Okay, I see the lava pool now. Oh, come on. Don't you dare kill my skeleton. Oh man, and I think if there's a creeper over there next to my stuff, he better not do anything bad. Oh, there's three of them. Well, that just makes it better. No, don't do it. And he did it. I saw a pick down there. Come on. Just gotta make it until daytime. Come on. Oh, my aim is so off. Good. Alright. Pick, come here. Please. Oh, man, I thought I was dead. <laughs> Alright, I guess I should be happy with what I got. <laughs> oh, man, my heart is racing. The main thing I was concerned with was my silk touch pick. That's like... That's everything to me. <sighs> okay, we got that. It does look like... We lost basically next... We basically lost everything else, though. Man, efficiency four, unbreaking three, shovel, diamond boots that were already getting kind of destroyed, but still, diamond sword. Oh man, that was rough. <laughs> okay, and anyway, actually, no, I'm not even going back. I doubt I'll get anything valuable. It's probably a potion that I had. Anyway, um, I lost my ender chest. What a waste. Come on. Alright. Yeah, we need to go ahead and make it daytime. I should have done this before, but whatever. Alright, now we should be safe, and whatever's still surviving over there, we should be able to get. Oh, it was logs. Oh, and a potion. Oh man, that was awful. I almost died again. That's what was the worst part. Okay, so I did get my steak. That's pretty good. My coal... Alright, so it wasn't an, it wasn't an entire loss. 
How did I get more bread? I guess I had some with me. Hmm. Strange. Seems like I'm just gaining stuff. Anyway, so back to talking about 1.3. Um, now that that's over with, and we got what we could back, I guess we're just going to go, which way? Yeah, we came from this way. Alright, I have such a hard time remembering that. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, about like the 1.8 update, it was one of the best updates I've ever seen. And looking at this update, just how kind of sloppy it is. I mean, like, if you look at it, listen to the eating sounds. Listen, okay, listen to this. Okay, I'll, I'll say place whenever I place it. Place. That should kind of tell you how bad, just, these, it's random lag, that's what's weird. Like, destroying the torch, there's no sound lag. Placing the torch, I mean, there's almost a second lag in it. And, I mean, this, it's, you, you may think, oh, that's not very annoying. Well, imagine this. It'll mess with your head. I mean, when you're trying to fill in an area, oh, that was close. And you kind of need to know, you need to kind of be alerted by sounds, knowing whether you've placed one there or not. And now you can't tell, because the sound lag is so bad. And I've noticed that on a ton of people's videos, like, B00 was experiencing it, um, I think Anderzel was, yeah, he was, and then Beef, maybe Nebris, I don't remember exactly who, but I know several people were, and now I'm getting it too, and everyone else on this server is, oh man. It's it's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. Because, like, we were talking, looking at the updates that have been dropped, or looking at what's all in this update, just how glitchy everything is. You know, whenever you, like, whenever I go to log into the server, and I click join server, it freezes for, like, 10 or 15 seconds. Then it says logging in, and then logs me in. I mean, it's just, it's so weird. I mean... To be honest, looking at a lot of the bugs in this, I would kind of prefer 1.2.5 until these are straightened out. Because, I mean, there's just... There's a lot of errors in this that I've already been able to see. And I, I just don't know. I don't... I don't like it at all. That's the thing. If you're... Like, what Minecraft used to do, for those who don't know, is it used to be every Friday there'd be an update. And it wouldn't be known, there wouldn't be, hey, this is going to be released this Friday. It was just, the update comes out, and it's update one point, or update whatever. Minecraft Alpha or Beta, whatever it was, it was just released, and that was it. And same thing happened for 1.8. They did have some beta testers on 1.8. And to be honest, I kind of prefer that. Uh, they only sele they selected like a very select few of people for beta testers. But they were the beta testers. But now it seems like they're almost using the Minecraft community for beta testers. That's just, that's not good in my opinion. Plus, I mean, even with this release, it's still like a snapshot. Alright, now listen to the eating effects. That, that, that is awful. And I've heard from every person on the server saying the eating sound is so messed up. It's awful, and... I have to agree. I just, I absolutely have to agree. I lost my minecart as well. <laughs> I noticed the random things, but yeah, that sucks that I died. That's actually never happened. Ender pearling into a uh, into a lava pit, and I have barely any armor on because I just haven't bothered to make another armor set. But I will be making one soon now, and hopefully getting more fire protection. Which, because I only have blast protection right now. So, anyway. Talking about the update. It's just, it's a very, very strange update. I mean, the villager trading, it's great. I think they did a great job on the villager trading. 
what I think happened, and I think this was a horrible thing for Minecraft in general, is the update is way, way too big. They added way too much in way too little space. I mean, if you look, if you look at the list on the uh, the Minecraft page, whenever you load up the Minecraft launcher, little thing that pops up from Reddit. I mean, it's like a page long. It's packed with updates. This that's just all from all the different snapshots they've had over the months that they've had to work on this update, and it's just caused very, very many problems, especially with SMP because. SMB has gl enough glitches as it is, and this is just adding to them. I mean, it's crazy. I don't, I don't really like it. See, now signs are fixed. I guess because I logged or something. Or no, I didn't log, but I guess because I died. I don't know what that would do for it, but yeah, that's it's not good. I don't like it. Plus, I've noticed several times that people just have like awful glitches, like. I know sometimes when I spawn, I'll spawn like in the ground, but then I'll catch it again. And what else? What else? What other glitches are there? Um, I know, well, I've heard this. I think it's true that if there is a flowing water pushing you into a block, that you will take suffocation damage. And I haven't actually confirmed that. I would like to, but... I don't know where any lava or water is because we don't have any in the nether. Hmm. But, I mean, it's just, I think the update was way, I mean, it, it wasn't rushed. They had plenty of time to work on it. I just don't see, like, why they're trying to pack as much in every update as they can. They're almost trying to make every update seem like a big deal. Because, like, the 1.8 adventure update, yes, that was a huge deal. That was a big update. That was amazing. But ever since then, it seems like they're trying to top that with each update. And you know, trying to make it better, make each update better and better. Put that in its rightful place. Okay. And them trying to, like, basically top themselves is just hurting them. Because they're trying to make these updates amazing, and it's just causing problems. I just, I don't understand why they have to do all the snapshots. Like, alright, I know you're probably going to answer me, but I do understand the reason they even said was mainly to help. Like, number one, so each update isn't like filled with bugs, and number two, they don't have to worry about it. Number three, for mod makers like bucket craft basically for them to update or for for them to be ready to update when 1.3 hits and texture packs and all those types of people it helps them a lot but I mean in my opinion here's what I think okay they didn't use that for 1.3 or not 1.3 1.8 and 1.8 turned out fine very very few bugs it was amazing Oh, one thing I do have an idea for. This fortune axe, I'm never going to use. It's it's the wor most worthless enchantment ever for an axe. And I have this efficiency 4 axe I used for cleaning up that jungle wood prank that Shadow and Lucas did on me. So, I can simply combine them. Now we have a fresh diamond axe. That's a really, really helpful thing. And I guess I'll take one of these swords. Do I have another one? Yeah, I got this one. I mean, it's a decent one. It's pretty good, but still. Okay, and anyway, all of this wool is from exploring. Whenever I went exploring, I brought some shears with me and just sheared a bunch of sheep. And I'm trying to stock up on it, but it's just a process. As well, I have something to show you guys. Before 1.3 dropped, I did make a bunch of wooden slabs. So these things are fireproof now. So if we do end up adding in a chimney or a fireplace into this build, we can easily do that. Anyway, I think that's going to have to cover us for today. I don't know how long we've been running. I think it's been long. I have a feeling it's been long at least. And I don't want to start on the building just yet because I haven't completely worked out an idea of where I'm going to place it, how I'm going to build it. Do I want to build it the same? You know, What floor, what decorative surroundings for it? I like to do all that. 
pre recording session, I guess. I like to do that before I record, so I mean that obsidian block is still there. Whatever. And yeah, you can see my I did some renovations to my enchantment room. Very nice. And we lost our twenty nine levels. Dang it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're looking forward to the build, uh, stay tuned. I really do want to get to work on it. Unfortunately, we don't have near enough white wool, so probably going to have to make a uh, sheep farm very soon. But again, that's going to have to be something that is pushed off until the future. So, I look forward to working on that thing in the future, the next episodes. Oh, something I do need to do is make another set of armor. I'm going to do that now, so I go ahead and have that on, so I don't ever have to worry about it again. Actually, just give me a whole stack. We'll build it from there. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any ideas, of course, leave them in the comments, and I would really appreciate that. Are you serious? That was a fail. Okay, well... And with that in mind, I guess I'm going to go ahead and head out and probably go to sleep because I'm exhausted. So, yeah, we'll see you guys next time where we will hopefully get to work on the house or at least clearing out some area for it. So I will see you guys then. <laughs>